Hey guys, Berger here with MVP Paintball. Thanks a lot for joining us for this episode of Tech Tuesday. This week, I'm gonna go over a couple of our rental maintenance things that we do. So stick around. All right, so all of our rental markers have a Exalt bayonet on them. Uh, it's the barrel bag, barrel blocking device. Uh, it's the part that goes over the barrel that prevents a uh, unwanted paintball from leaving the barrel. Uh, so it's a safety feature. Uh, this part slips right over the tip of the barrel, and then you have bungee that goes around the back. And after a while, this bungee kind of gets outstretched and it's really not effective anymore. Uh, and that can happen just from time, people really stretching them, uh, paint residue kind of just wearing out on it. It's normal, it's just part of the regular maintenance for it. So what I'm going to do is, this is one of the ones off of our markers, I am going to replace this bungee. Uh, we use 1 8 inch paracord. Um, you can buy it on Amazon, you can get it all over the place. Uh, different colors, uh, different thicknesses, stuff like that. So. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to carefully use scissors to open up the tip of this. I'm going to pull out the end of the paracord, and you can see that I've already had this one in there. So we're going to cut that off. That's garbage. That's garbage. This is garbage. So these right here, the cord locks, um, you, know, you can see these on like hoodies and stuff like that. You can purchase these as well. I think it's like six bucks for like 10 of them or something like that. Different colors as well, different styles. Um, if these look good, if they're not broken, if the spring's not broken in them or the plastic's cracked or something, we'll save them and, and reuse them. Um, sometimes, sometimes they get stepped on or shot or something. So, you know, you just give it a quick inspection. This one seems to be fine, so we'll hold on to it. That's garbage. So we have, I think it's a 100 foot long piece of paracord, uh, and I did this off camera just so that I'm not sitting here making all kinds of noise and stuff. Um, I unrolled it, and over on our tech counter, I actually have a spot that I measure it at, so I know what I need for our markers. Uh, each marker is gonna be a little different. You know, if you don't want one that goes all the way around the back of the gun, but you want it to go around your front rig or something, just cut it to the size that you need. Uh, easy way to do it is just kind of measure one side of it, and then you know if it's this is the tip of the barrel, and over here is where you're going to go. You know if that's about the right size, that's fine. Uh, you will have a cord lock on there, so you can actually adjust it and tighten it up a little bit if you need to. Uh, so we'll get started on this. So inside of these exalts, there are little channels that your paracord goes through. That pops out the end right there. We can do the same thing to the other side. And then I like to try and keep them as e even and neat as possible. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use kind of like a, a fisherman's knot for this. And uh, what I'm gonna do is take this end, wrap it around, Kind of weird to do on camera because it's not really the way I normally do it, um, spacing wise. So you can see here that that's just going to pull right off of there. But what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this side a little bit, do the same thing over here, pull it the opposite direction. And you want to have these a little bit longer than you, than you actually need because we're going we're gonna to cut those off. So I'm going to pull that over tight. I'm pulling it apart. It's not pulling apart on itself. It's a really good knot. Uh, this is just a single um, fisherman's knot. There's actually a double one where you just do it twice, wrap it through, and pull it back over again. Um, this is plenty secure. I mean, I'm pulling this pretty hard, and it's not coming apart. So this is fine for the application that we're using. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to cut this right here. Trim it off, you don't need all that excess out there. Then we're going to cut this piece off. 
And then it's, it's pretty frayed right there. So what I like to do, you don't really have to do this, but I think it looks neater. Just kind of melt the tip of it a little bit, put it on something cold like the scissors, and it hardens it back up again. Uh, try not to melt this and get it on your finger. It does burn. Ask me how I know. So we have that like that. And we're going to just kind of squeeze this, put that in there, holds it in place. We're going to take our cord lock. I try and get this so that it's pretty, pretty even still. And I just got to look, see where I am on camera. Push that through. And I'm doing it, I'm going all the way back here without actually pulling on it, just to make sure I'm kind of even. And what I like to do is I like to just make a, a quick knot on this side. Pull it through. And then what this does is it prevents that cord lock from pulling off on you. Now you're going to put this over the tip of the barrel, this around the back of your marker. Now it's going to hold it nice and tight for you. You're going to be safe out on that field again. And it stops you from having to buy you know, a whole new setup. So it's a little bit more of a, a frugal way of, of keeping your equipment. And you can color coordinate if you want to. If you didn't really like the, the color of the bungee that came with the barrel bag that you got, just swap it out to another color. All right, so our rental goggles. Um, every once in a while, because we take all of our goggles apart and we, we sanitize them so that the foam isn't you know, dirty from somebody else's sweat sitting up against your face. And the sanitizing solution that we use can sometimes wear off the glue. So I don't know if we can see this in there, but this piece of foam is separated. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that this is clean, that there's no paint residue on there or anything. And bear with me, because I'm actually experimenting with this before. I have not used this. Um, right now I'm using vinyl cement. Usually I use a contact cement. And uh, you want to make sure that you're pretty well ventilated when you use this like any glue. Uh, I recommend not having the lens in your goggle while you do this as well, because if you get any of this on the, on the lens itself, it's not gonna it's not gonna work out very well for you. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit to the plastic, try and get it right up into the very back of it. Put a little bit more on my brush. I'm gonna put some more on the foam piece. And the reason that you want to use something like a, a rubber cement, contact cement, something like that, oop, a little bit too much on there is you want it to be flexible, you want it to hold well, and if you use just a, a straight super glue, uh, a lot of times what'll happen is that straight super glue will melt the foam. Uh, or if you're using like a, an open cell foam, which this is not an open cell foam, this is a closed cell foam. Um, if you use an open cell foam, the super glue will actually harden up and then instead of having a nice soft piece of foam against your face, you have a hard piece of super glue against your face. And that is something you can ask me about as well because I am well aware of how uncomfortable that is because I've done it in a pinch before. It didn't work out so well for me. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sit here and I'm gonna hold this for, I don't know, probably 30 seconds. Um, you just wanna make sure that you have a good good contact on there. Uh, this isn't really something that you can just sit in the vise and squeeze it and, and hold it on there. So you just want to apply moderate pressure. I'm not, not straining myself to do this. Um, you can just kind of gently let up on it and if it starts to separate, just, you know, you're not ready for it yet. Maybe we'll have somebody add some fun music to this or something. Or it's like watching paint dry except it's vinyl cement. Now I mentioned earlier about uh, open cell foam and closed cell foam. Um, the reason that we chose a closed cell foam for this is so that we can uh, dip them in our sanitizing solution. We can get them all nice and clean. 
and then you know have a quicker turnaround time for it on those days that we're busy. Uh, we don't want to hand somebody soaking wet goggles, um, but we want you to have clean goggles. So uh, that's the that's kind of where the balance comes into play. All right, that looks good. Um, before putting it back into rotation, I'm going to let it set set for a while, uh, just to make sure it dries, make sure that the fumes from the glue airs out. Um, you don't want to glue this up, throw it back right on your face again, and go out and play. Um, as I said before, you want to make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area. Uh, hopefully this video has shown you a couple of ways to repair some of your equipment without having to go out and, and buy all new equipment. Thanks a lot for joining us, guys. So all of our rental, all of our rental markers have a Exalt barrel made on them. Nope. Uh, it's not a barrel made. I even looked right at the bayonet word.